You could use your money to make a wise investment and at the same time change the current business culture for the better. That's the main idea behind the Fidelis International Institute of Rome, dedicated to promoting ethical practices in the world of business. This institution guides investors in deciding if an investment is worth their money in a certain company. When we receive a name of a company from a potential investor, um, we just ask certain questions regarding ethical conduct. We have nine major criteria regarding um, human life, hum human rights, uh, stewardship of the environment, um, cooperation with uh, corrupt governments and few others. The Institute has studied 600 companies. They've identified the ones that practice unethically as well as the ones that promote practices that benefit the environment, the poor and the family. One example would be uh, flexibility of work. For instance, working from home or working part-time or having a, having a right to extended paternity leave or maternity leave. Uh, another would be uh, some financial benefits for families like vouchers for kids or having a kindergarten next to a work of place or having a insurance for entire family or having a retirement plan for the good of the family. The Institute also offers courses, publishes books and articles and conducts academic research in business ethics because they're interested in educating leaders that practice these values at work. We found a, a very alarming uh, practice that also was part of the causes of this uh, crisis which is the short-term oriented uh, profit uh, seeking uh, of the companies and especially of the, of the directors and, and CEOs of the companies where this short-term approach which is mentioned also on the encyclica forbids the company to look uh, on a long term for the benefit of their shareholders and also for the benefit of the whole society. Fidelis International Institute has a 12-person team with locations in Italy, Spain, United States and Mexico. They say that the more often companies get excluded from funds for ethical reasons, the more they will be motivated to change their practices.